This is the Echo Show 5. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything you can do with this device, so stay tuned. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't been around for a while, then you probably know that I have covered my fair share of the Amazon ecosystem. So if you own an Amazon product or a product with Alexa built into it, be sure to subscribe because if we zoom into the computer behind me, we see that I have an Amazon playlist that is just full of tips and tricks of ways to get more out of that ecosystem. Also, as we go through the list of this video, comment below and let me know what you want me to dive deeper into. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at everything you could do with the Echo Show 5. So the best way I can describe this device right here is that it's essentially an Echo Dot with a touchscreen display built into it. If you take a look at the back of the device, we have a power port and we have a micro USB port. This is gonna be for a wired ethernet adapter in case Wi-Fi is not an option. Unfortunately, there is no 3.5 millimeter jack on the back of the device for external speakers like we see with the Echo Dot. Inside the device, we have a full range 1.65 inch built-in speaker. On the top of the device, there are three buttons. We've got mute, volume down, volume up, and next to that is a slider to cover up the camera for privacy. If you look between the buttons here, we see a couple small holes. These are gonna be the microphones for the device. Looking at the front, we have a five and a half inch touchscreen display with a sad two megapixel camera. Now some additional features inside is that we have dual band Wi-Fi. We have a Bluetooth connection that will allow you to stream audio from your phone or you can actually connect it to a Bluetooth speaker to get better audio out of the device. It also has an ambient light sensor for dimming the screen and it uses the camera to detect when somebody is present. Now you can use that feature to set up smart home automations. You can also upload personal pictures to Amazon Photos and enable photo frame to use this as a digital picture frame. I did a full video covering the personal photo setup, so if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead and take a look at the Amazon playlist on my channel. So like with other Echo devices, this has the Alexa voice assistant built into it. So this is going to allow you to request things like songs, set alarms, set timers, and different things like that. In addition to that, it's also a touchscreen display. So if you wanna scroll through the menus, you can do that too. If we scroll side to side, you can either advance the display or go back to something you already saw. Scrolling down from the top will give us some more options. We've got our home button, settings, do not disturb. We can adjust our brightness. We've got our notifications, alarms, photo frame if you just wanna see your personal photos. We've also got communicates, music, controlling your smart home, bringing up videos, you can check your routines, and then we also have active media. So you might notice that there is a lot of junk cycling through the display. Things like stocks, trends, recipes, different things that you might not want to see. I'm gonna show you guys how to turn some of those off. If we take a look at the display, swipe down from the top, go to settings. We're gonna scroll up a little bit, go to home and clock and then go to home content. From here, it is going to load up all the different options that we have that we can tick on and off. So like this one right here, I've got Alexa Games is going to pop up and show me. I can go ahead and turn that off if I want to. Uh, there's a lot of different options here, so you may wanna just turn everything off so you just see your personal pictures that you upload or leave some of these on. Maybe you wanna see your local news or weather or different things like that. So that is where you're going to clean up that home screen and get exactly what you want on that display. So what kind of media can this device support? Well, Prime Video and Netflix are the major native apps you're going to find available. Unfortunately, it does not support Disney+, Plus. Hulu or HBO Max at this time at least. They're always doing updates, so those could become available in the future. But because it does have the Silk web browser built in, you do have options for things like YouTube and TikTok. It's just not going to be the native apps. As for music, you have options from Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora, and Apple Music. Now to use those, you're just gonna request your song and then specify the player that you want to play the music. To get logged into your accounts with your music player, you'll have to do that through the Alexa app. In addition to that, you can listen to radio stations through iHeartRadio. You can also listen to different podcasts and audiobooks through Audible.
As you collect more and more of these Echo devices, something I'd recommend setting up are speaker groups. This is going to allow you to play music on all of those devices throughout your house. Once you have your speaker group set up through the Alexa app, you can just request to have music played through that specific speaker group. As music is playing through those devices, you can actually adjust the volume individually on each one. So if in one room I want to turn it up a little bit, in another room you can turn it down a little bit. As for the speakers on this device, they're actually pretty decent for the lowest end Echo Show. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but it gets the job done. You can go into the settings on the device or through the app and you can actually adjust the bass, mids, and treble for the speaker. Now, if that's still not sounding good enough for you, you can connect an external Bluetooth speaker. It's gonna give you better audio and it's gonna give you the ability to take that audio around. You can take that speaker outside with you, move it around, and it's all being played through your Echo device. Controlling your smart home on the touchscreen display is actually pretty clunky. If I scroll down from the top, we have a smart home option. Now by default, this loads up with a predefined favorites that you have set up in your Amazon Alexa app. At the top, we can scroll through the different categories of devices or click on groups. Now that is gonna bring up groupings that we have created in the app. Typically there's gonna be rooms that you set up in your house. Clicking on one of these rooms is going to show you what devices in the room you can control. Now there is also a routine section from the pull down menu. This essentially is going to be your smart home automations that you have also set up in your Amazon Alexa app. If you wanna know more about routines, I did a full video on it. I will go ahead and link it up above for you guys to check that out. Now, another thing you could do is you can view your Alexa compatible security cameras on this device. If you have a Ring Video doorbell, you can set up a feature that anytime somebody rings that doorbell, it's automatically gonna bring up a live view of what's happening at the door. All right, so there are plenty of places that you can put this thing throughout the house, but let's go through some specific rooms right now, starting off with the kitchen. Recipes are a great thing that you can view on your Echo device. You can ask for anything that you wanna see. Show me chocolate cake recipes. This is going to bring up a bunch of different recipes for us to scroll through. I'll scroll through it, I pick the one that I want, and now when I take a look at it, I can have the option of actually clicking on a video to see a little video on this. I can save it, I can click start, actually start the recipe. I can click add to cart, and that is going to add all of the ingredients that we see here into the cart, or if you see where the ingredients are, I can actually click on those ingredients individually to add them to my shopping list. Other things that you can do that are helpful in the kitchen are setting timers, setting alarms. You can even do different types of measuring conversions. Now, taking this thing into the bedroom, we can use this as a personal digital picture frame. We can set up custom alarms. If we do have several alarms set, we can actually view all of those alarms on one screen. Now moving this device pretty much anywhere else in the house, a great way to use this is communicating. If we scroll down from the top and hit on that communicate button, we've got several different options here. We've got drop in, announce, call, messages, show contacts. Now, if you do want to set up things like setting up a call, sending messages, you do have to either link your contacts with the Alexa app or you can actually manually put in contacts. Once you do have those contacts set up, you can set up things like calling or video calling and sending messages. All right, we've gone over a lot of different topics of what this device can do. Here is everything else just kind of thrown into the mix. To start things out, you can actually use this device right here as a security camera. Because it does have that built-in camera on top, you can log in with your Alexa app and actually view the camera that is on the device right here. Now granted, if the shutter on that camera is closed, you're not gonna be able to view anything, but if it is not, say maybe you have this in the kitchen, you wanna bring up the camera, see what's going on, you can do that through the app. Other things you can do is you can view your calendar. So if you have anything on your calendar, you can bring up your calendar and view all of the events on there. We've also got the option for checking your reminders. You can go through your different reminders and see what you have coming up. If you are traveling, you can ask for drive times to that location. Unfortunately, it's not gonna give you step-by-step -step directions, but it'll at least give you a drive time with the current traffic. This being an Amazon device, you can actually do some shopping on the device too. Buy coffee. This is going to bring up a lot of options for coffee that you can scroll through and pick and actually purchase it through Amazon. In addition to that, you can also add things to your shopping list. Say you've got a grocery shopping list, you wanna add things to it, you can do it by using the voice assistant. Add cheese to my shopping list. 
With the new year here, you might be more health conscious and want to know the nutritional facts of something that you are going to go out and eat. That is something you can ask the voice assistant and it'll bring up the nutritional facts of what you're gonna order. How many days until St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day will start in 63 days on Friday, March 17th, 2023. Give me a sports update. In football, the Chargers and the Jaguars will face off in the AFC wildcard tomorrow evening at 5.15 p.m. All right, let's go ahead and wrap up this video with a joke. Computer, tell me a joke. Why can't you hear a cow on a video call? It keeps getting moo, Ted. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well, not all the jokes are the best, uh, but I hope you guys were able to get some good information out of this video. If so, go ahead and share it with anybody else that might find it valuable. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.